Yeah, sorry about that. I was just telling y'all about these journalists. My laptop is kind of acting up, but I want y'all to know they knock off journalists. I don't even give them that because journalists don't talk like that. They don't try to disrespect people, cuss people out for no reason. And the way they talk to law enforcement, I know a lot of cops are uh, bad. You got bad and good in every place, and every, every cop don't do the same thing as another cop do. But they hold all cops accountable just because some cops is bad apples. Then you got cops that do bad things, and they bad all around. That's why they. This is a way when you are criminal. Not that I'm judging nobody because I can't. I'm not perfect. When you are a criminal and you've been dealing with the law before you even thought about this journalist stuff wasn't even out in the 70s and the 80s, it started getting popular, I think, in the late 90s or the early, early 90s. This journalist stuff, they figure, oh, shoot, this is what we can get back at cops. We can, we can cut them, uh, cut them out and say all kinds of things. That's why I say, if you're going to try to be a journalist, get a real camera. I guess y'all can't afford a real camera. That's why y'all use cell phone. And the way y'all dress, nobody's not going to never take y'all serious until you change your attitude, which I think, I doubt think you'll change your attitude because they can't, but they knock off journalists. They this is what people are call them, YouTubers. And the other people I've seen look at them, call them frauders. I'm not saying all of them like that, but. You might find a couple of good ones in the apples, but most of them is bad apples. I had a running with one right out here in Connecticut where I live at. He going to tell me I'm going to be on the internet for life. I said, I don't give a fuck what they're going to do to me. Uh, and stuff like that, because y'all think that y'all got a camera, and they keep telling that camera's not a weapon. Well, that's what y'all using it for. That camera's y'all protection. It's a weapon. It's just as bad as a gun. And they know that, and they try to pretend they don't know things. When they go in these post office. After they get the stamp, what's the purpose of staying there for like 30 or 45 minutes? They want a reaction. If they don't get the reaction, nobody going to watch this shit, which I don't watch anyway. I know about them because I've seen them on other people's channels. And I would never talk to nobody like that. Uh, I would tell them what the word, well, I might as well, uh, the word news, they only know what it meant. What it means, I mean, you just putting news in north, east, south. That's what it means, north. East, South, you know, but they wouldn't know that because they don't do anything right. Uh, and they make up them little phony presses. That's why the people laugh at the real journals look at them like, that's why y'all, they know, they don't let nobody come in there with, um, with, a, with your face covered like you're ready to pull a robbery. People that wouldn't scare people, and they know why the uh, camera's in there. Look around, there's cameras all around. That's the cameras in there, not for you, dumbass. It's in there. Well, it's in there for the people that come in there, too, in case of robbery, breakout. The cameras are there to protect the employees. And y'all know why the camera's in there and so they can record things. They, they, nobody want no camera up in their face. They put, I seen one for put the camera right in the man's face. That's why the man hit it and knocked it down. How you assault a camera? A camera's not really nothing but plastic and wires and, and electronic stuff. They don't know shit. That's why I don't like to look at them. And I don't like when they... Do stuff like that because I have family. Some of my family is journalists, real journalists, not no cell phone uh, knockoff wannabe. I don't mean to come down people like that, but they they film children. They don't have no respect. I would never put a child on my camera, and they they would. Oh, I'm not trying to film the child. I see many of uh, uh, children in their videos, and they, uh, and and that's what I'm trying to explain to them something to them. Like, if me and my wife rent out a park, it becomes private because you don't pay for that. Say if a person paid, some people pay a million dollars just for the whole park. That means nobody can come in the park. That becomes private because they pay for that, that that whole couple of hours at a private session. Even though it is a public park, if you pay for something, it becomes private. They don't understand. Oh, this is a public park. Everybody knows a public park. And how you know that y'all don't pay everybody taxes? Their taxes will be taken from other resources too. And, and but they want everybody to think that. That's why I told a girl, don't believe what they say. Don't believe the hype, like the uh, public enemy number one said. If you pay everybody, every state they go in, I pay your salary. Wow, you must be a multi-millionaire. 
If you pay 50 states t uh, tax, like every state they're going, I'm going to, uh, I pay your tax. You don't pay no taxes in that state. Your tax is only good for the state you come in, what you live in, unless you want to buy something there in another state, like a $50,000 car, which I know they look cheap ass, ain't going to do that. Well, that's it for what I got to say now. Remember this knock off journalists. That's what they are. They not no real journalists anyway. I'm a, a, a real journalist. Don't act like that. I'll cuss people out. Tell people what the, 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 the stuck on them. I had them say some nasty thing. And most journalists wear suits and ties. Did you see them dress? They dress. That would scare me if I seen somebody dressed like that. They have their face covered up and have sunglasses on top of them like a ninja mask. Well, thank you for giving me this time. Yawish, Donada Wado. I said take care and have a blessed day. And don't get don't let them intimidate you. They want that reaction. They keep saying they don't. Why you think they stand there after buying one damn step? You yeah, that's how you know when I go on a post, I buy a whole book. What that fucking one stamp gonna do? They don't even want that stand. They probably get outside and throw it out, throw it away. That's to make people think they got business. I'm a four year request. They don't say shit. Always ask for that. They always do that. Make it like they got business in the building. And when they stay in the build in the post of when they don't get the reaction they want, they'll create a scene and try to act like, oh, no will intended, uh, uh, no ill will uh, intended. Yes, it is. Y'all know what y'all did for y'all want a goddamn reaction and stuff like that. That's why, as they buy the stamp. I seen one of them, uh, I was watching the other guy video about what they do. I seen one of them, after he got the stamp, he gonna go stand for another 30 or 40 minutes because he want that reaction. He probably, damn, I ain't even got to get a reaction. Once you give them what they want, that's what they like. But they cutting out a lot of this stuff now and they ain't gonna be able to do anything. And after a while, in all 50 state paper gonna come obsolete. What are you gonna do then? You gonna come and try to ask for something that's not there? Because with some, some state, they already doing that because the lady said, they don't have that there no more, like uh, request things and like that. All right, so that's all I wanted to say. Just be careful with them, cause they fimble. They most of them is criminals, and they like to protect other criminals. Like when I saw that video in New York, why would you tell the guys riding motorcycles illegal with no insurance? Oh, don't go that way. I heard one of them YouTubers say that. Well, I call them a knockoff journalist. I heard one of the knockoff say, "Oh, that's their new name to me, knockoff." But that's what y'all are, y'all knock off. They're like when people tend to be OGs, they ain't nothing but knock off OGs. They do a lot of talking. Oh, a real gangster would shoot you dead or whoop your ass. He gonna stand there and keep talking like it's like a crocodile with his mouth open like that. Crocodile, he mean bitter your mouth. He ready to chew your ass up when y'all open y'all crocodile mouth. It don't. It's nothing but a word. A real gangster don't shoot you. At least the Bloods and Crips. I don't condone what they do, but they'll shoot your ass quick. They not they more of a gangster than than you ever would be because y'all talk. A real gangster don't talk, he just shoot you. That's why my mother said when a person talk, he ain't nothing about bullshit. Like when Al Capone, he's an OG. I don't get done what he did, but when you got on Al Al Capone, you know, he'd look at his boys, give him the signal. And sometimes cause he's cool, he ain't gonna do it himself. He'll let them do it. But Sometimes Al Capone will come out of his comfort zone and shoot your ass or beat you with a bat. That's an OG. When, old, like when I was at the uh, getting food one day, this guy wanted to fight me over a goddamn line. I said, go ahead. So I cut your braids off. So I, I said, I said, look, man, I said, you ain't no OG. He told me he was an OG. He said, why are you here? At the soup kitchen. I said, well, I ain't trying to pretend to be an OG. You the one saying that. So you ain't nothing about a mouth a real OG with a bench stab me or did something. You just talking. If I'm going to do, do something to my, I'm going to do it. I'm going to walk right to the side, kick you in your face. That's another thing I hate when people try to tend to be something they not. Thank you, and I'll talk to y'all later. Good night. Mm -hmm.